Hello and welcome to this new tutorial on EMGU CV. Today I'm going to uh, show you how we can create histograms and display them using C Sharp Windows Forms applications. So let's get started. I have already created a project and I configured it to use EMGU CV. If you don't know how to configure it, you can check my previous videos. So let me add a new form. Just right click on the project name, go to add, and then you can choose the new item. And this will display this uh, add new item uh, dialog. Then select the Windows Forms, and uh, you can give it any name. Just I keep it as it is and add it. So this uh, Windows form I will use to display an image and uh, then uh, create the histogram for it. I'll be using EMGU CV's uh, user interface elements. To add them, uh, I will just create a new tab, just call it AJ Tools. And inside that AJ Tools, right click, choose items and then browse and go to the place where you have installed EMGU CV right uh, right here I have display as uh, installed it in C go to EMGU and then go to the bin and here you will see EMGU.CV.UI click on that click on open and then click OK so you can see uh, these user interface elements provided by EMGU are now part of my toolbox. Uh, let me drag and drop later. I will create a simple button to read an image and then a button to display the histograms. I just call it read image and I call it histogram. Displaying histogram uh, is super simple, especially with these uh, controls. So first thing that I would like to do is to display the image. And to display the image, let me use this image box. Uh, I want to do something that uh, I want to show you how we can read the images, uh, image channels separately. I just copy it and paste it here here and another image let me make it a bigger one oops so that what I want to do I want to read an RGB image and display each channel separately and display their corresponding uh, histograms separately over here and for histogram you can see there is a histogram box okay that's great let me readjust it something like this it's okay i need to copy paste for the second one and then again paste for the third one so what i want to do is just i read an image separate the channels r g and b and then i will display their corresponding histograms so double click on read image and uh, let me create first of all and uh, what I call it we have to do this thing for every project emgu.cv and then using emgu.cv.structure which contains some definitions as I said earlier and uh, let me create an image BGR image and its depth is bytes and I call it underscore input image and I would like to create let's say three more images just it's for fun you may say R and G channel and B channel red green and a blue channels so in the read what I want to do is string file name is equal to my file is located at dlina.jpg 
and I'm going to read it into underscore img is equal to new and here uh, you can pass the file name as parameter so this uh, uh, input img will uh, read the image from this this uh, dimension the file name that we have mentioned and now I want to create the red channel green channel and and the blue channel so the red channel will be uh, since this one is uh, an area of three images so if you see that if you use the square brackets it will display the int channel it means the first channel uh, is yeah one thing that uh, really you need to understand it's not the at zeroth it's not the red channel if you look at this uh, bgr it means the order of the channels is very important that it has been changed this is the blue is the first one green is second and red is the third one so when i will use zero it means this is the blue channel let me use the magic of copy and paste blue green and finally we have the red one so the index will be one two and i want to display them in image box one i have dot image i want to display r similarly image box two dot image equals to g and image box three dot image equals to b so i will separately display these channels in first second and third uh, image box so let's check the output by hitting the run or the start so read the image so you can see this is the red channel green and a blue it's okay and now i will implement the function for histogram and what i want when i click on histogram first i make sure that i have the image not equal to null if it is if it is equals equals null i want to say that please select an image okay just a message to make sure that uh, the, there is an image so here comes the logic I have used these three histogram one two and three boxes so these are really important for us to create the histogram so let's go and histogram box one dot uh, clear histogram this is very important why we want to do this if there is an already existing histogram it will be cleared first so before creating the histogram we need to clear the similarly for second and a third histogram as well now I'm going to use histogram dot generate histogram that's right so this will be asking you for an image so you can see the, the this one is asking for an image and uh, we have the image in the form in our channel it's okay we have to say that we need 256 bins that's it and and just i will use copy and paste and also change it to second and i g channel and blue channel that is super simple and the last thing that we need to do is to refresh the histogram otherwise remember it will not display the histogram for you the these three steps are mandatory for displaying the histogram and that is it first clear histogram generate histogram and refresh histogram let's hit start and check the output first uh, I use the condition you know uh, if it is not there then it will say make sure that you have read an image and then you create a histogram and that's it you can see 
the histograms even you can perform zoom in and a zoom out for these three histograms another way to create histogram is to use the dense histogram class so let me create a, a histogram using the dense histogram class i just copy and paste this button and i call it dense histogram so how we can use this dense histogram class to create uh, a histogram uh, using the dense histogram class so i'll use the dense histogram hist is equal to new dense histogram and here you can provide the bin size i call i just say i want 256 and you need to provide a range for it what should be the minimum value uh, of the histogram and what should be the maximum value there i call it i putting i'm putting this f to represent that this is a floating number uh then use the hist dot calculate function to create the histogram you can pass a matrix or we can directly pass uh, an array of the images so i will just create an ar array of images i just call it of type byte and this should be an array so that is the symbol and inside that area i'm going to pass the r channel to mention that i'm going to create the histogram for r channel and this accumulate means uh, if you want to display the histogram of more than one images in one histogram then you can call it true at the moment i don't have any requirement for that and since I don't have the mask, I mean, I want to create the histogram for the whole image. If you have a mask, means some part of the image you want to create a uh, histogram, then you have to provide the mask in it. So that is what we are going to do. And we have created the histogram. Now, the important point is, since the histogram values are inside this uh, uh, class object, I want to get those out uh, into a mate file i will create a mate object and i'll be using this hist dot copy to so mate it will copy what it will do is it will copy the histogram into my mate file so that i now can use this histogram box one dot let me first clear the histogram and then histogram one dot you can use this function add histogram now you can use this uh, name for it red channel histogram mm -hmm. okay and the next thing that it requires is a color for the histogram okay let's give any color that whatever you want i'm happy with the green color and then you have to provide the mate histogram that is the output where i have uh, sorry that is the m where i copied the histogram bin size is of 256 and then this one also calls us for new range so i'll provide a range for it and this one will be let's say between zero float comma 255 float that's it and now we can use this histogram one dot refresh function and let's run this i have just uh, used it for one channel you can repeat it for the others as well so you can see that the histogram is now displayed over there you can also create the histogram for other channels as well in, in the similar fashion as we created for the red channel and i hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope to see you in the next videos mm -hmm.